We're Rachel and Cole. We just started renovating our 2007 travel trailer. Messed up the wall. And we're learning something new pretty much every day. I kind of messed up. Follow along as we try to stay positive throughout the demo process. I'm grouchy. This is Working for the Wild. Demo day number one is underway and we're already dealing with some issues, which is funny because last night Cole said a lot of that will be really simple stuff. He has been out here since earlier than me and has already ran into a couple issues. One of the issues is we realized that this dinette is built around this pipe um, so taking out the dinette is going to be interesting. Okay, so there are screws coming in from the outside to the inside on the dinette, which we can't get to those, obviously. Well, bottom line, we may have to rip some of this stuff out. I don't know. I'm worried about, like, making a hole in the wall. What happens if we do make a hole in the wall? Then we fix it. And then we put a new wall on top of it. <laughs> Why are the screws coming from the outside of the camper into the dinette? They would have to like install the dinette before they put on the paneling on the outside of the RV. So that's the only way to like get the screws in from the outside because there's no screws out here. Maybe that's how they build RVs. Maybe it is. Maybe that's how they're so sturdy. Yeah, that was a mess. One piece. Okay, so right now we're having another issue. Um, we were gonna try to salvage a portion of the dinette so we didn't have to rip out the wood from the wall again because we had the screws just sticking straight out of the wall but uh, in order to do that we were gonna have to like cut into the back of the dinette to like take part of it off and we don't really have the tool to do that like safely or accurately so we think we're just gonna have to take the whole thing out and the problem is part of it is around the plumbing so that's something that we're gonna to have to work around in addition to screws that are coming from the outside into the wood. So it's just, it's a whole thing. Quite a bit of progress on the trailer in the last 48 hours. Cole was out here most of the day yesterday, so I'll show you guys some of the progress so far, and then I'm gonna try to pick up kind of where he left off here. This is where the dinette used to be. We were able to get the dinette out uh, after a lot of struggles there. Um, this shelf that used to be here that was for that tube TV area is gone. Everything off the cabinets above the bed should probably take this lovely bed spread off. We really haven't done anything in the bathroom, um, so I'm gonna try to work on some of this here this evening, getting those doors off, getting that off. Um, I wanna take this whole thing down, but we'll see about that. I Googled what are you supposed to fill RV walls with if you make a hole in them? And everybody said, just don't even try. Um, just cover it up with something. But if you do have to fill it, everybody just said some normal spackling should work. So I bought this little kit. I just got a little one because I want to see if it works. Um, and I'm expecting, well, probably, there are some a couple other things that we need to tear out of here. So if this works, I'll probably just use it to fill the rest of the holes and then I got just a wall sander to go over it, flatten it out, see if this works. I have a feeling I'm doing this like entirely wrong. Um, it came with like a little patch that you put over the hole and then you put the spackling over the patch and then it turns white when it's dry. You take the patch off, I think, and then do another coat, maybe. So I kind of messed up. That patch thing, I'm pretty sure that's only for like deep holes 
Cole's not a yes. But I realized pretty quick that it wasn't wasn't right. So I just went ahead and put like a thin coat of that spackle. Spackle? Spackling? Spackle. Spackle over the rest of the holes, tears. They're not really holes. They're just like issues. I need help. What do you need help with? Can you open the door to the sure. bathroom? So I got this door off. Yep. But I'm afraid I'm gonna strip the screws in those. This little button. It flips it back and forth. Yeah, so if it's pushed this way, it's turned to the left. Thank you. caulking or whatever it is that's all around the cabinets that I was trying to get off yesterday. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, it's everywhere. Um, I gave up because it was annoying and it's gonna take forever. But Cole got a heat gun. So we're gonna see if that helps just make the material a little bit softer and easier to pull out of the little crevice between the whatever. So we just checked out this um, warehouse in Denver. It's called Revolve. Revolve Restoration or Revolve Recycling. I think it's both. But it was super cool. We're looking for some type of material for our countertop and for our table. I didn't record a whole lot in there, but they have like recycled parts from boxcars and semi flooring and what else did they have like something from a coal mine some old metal like siding old metal something. just really really cool re recycled pieces we didn't get anything today because we want to finalize measurements before we actually buy anything um but i would say we're probably gonna go back and get something from there for the camper So we haven't been in the camper really for a couple days, right? I don't even remember the last day. Three days ago, maybe? Um, and we have a couple goals. It's Saturday, late afternoon. We have a couple things that we want to make sure we get accomplished. This is kind of like the tail end of the demo, we think. So we'll see how much we can get done today. We want to try to get the sinks taken out. What else? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to get the sink taken out here and in the bathroom maybe take the countertop out well no we're gonna leave the countertop remember you said you wanted it to set stuff on you wanted to keep it in we sure. wanted to take the range hood out so we're gonna take the range hood out and then probably get the mattress out of here and then maybe start trying to take some of the border off the walls a little bit yeah for some reason i thought this was like printed on the wall but it is separate. that's gonna be stupid mattress sink border radio could probably take the radio out it'd be pretty simple you ready let's do it there are six wing nuts that are all connecting the sink, like pulling it down to the countertop. So I'm trying to get those undone. And then we'll unhook the plumbing and hopefully the sink should just pop out. I did another coat of that spackling on here a couple days ago, the last time we were in here, and it worked really well. This is like totally flat and smooth. I'm just sanding 
a little bit off, but um, I don't know. Again, it it may crack once this thing moves, but so far it looks good. I just don't know if it's flexible enough for an RV. sink is like crazy light and anytime we pull something out of here that's really light I'm like how are we gonna find something else that is equally as light because I'm looking at like you know regular sinks and I'm like there's no way we're gonna be able to put a regular sink and all these other materials in here and have it still be the weight that it is so the things you got to think about when renovating an RV <music> objective is to remove like the vanity thing that's in the bathroom and it's connected the same way that the dinette was like from the outside in we There's think. literally zero screws like going in so we're like probably just gonna have to rip it down i guess i have it's absolutely just gonna no damage idea. the wall we should have a way to leave it I, it's just this would be open i don't want this part down here open you know what i mean right here yeah we could put something in there what it's just like pulling the entire wall with it oh god i'm scared screw There's gotta be a screw inside of that right there i do not see a screw it's inside of all this mess I don't want to leave it, like I don't like it, but if it's just going to make more work for me to take it off, then I'll just leave it and paint it. So you want to leave it alone? I mean, well now that we already messed up the wall, it's I mean, like... it's not that messed up. Like it's not pulling up easily anywhere. What do you want to do? I mean, I didn't... I could think we should just leave it and we can build, we can put a frame around the outside of it that covers up any part of the wall that's messed up. We're going to end the video here because I'm grouchy. I haven't slept. I'm in a terrible mood. You know when you're in those moods where it's just like everything is wrong and that's it. <laughs> everything is wrong no matter what. Like, I feel like we made good progress and Cole was like, I don't feel like we've done that much. And that made me mad. So I need to like take a nap. Um, but thank you for watching. We do still have a little bit of demo that we need to do. Just a couple things here and there that I'm hoping we can get done in the next week in the next video. Um, so be sure to tune in for that. Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if uh, you enjoyed it. <laughs> and if you want to continue to follow our renovation process on this camper. Anything else? That's all good. Let's keep working. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.